so many Barbie movies out there at this point, each full of fun, colorful themes. And today I want to create a massive build in The Sims 4 inspired by different Barbie movies. We did something similar last year where we did each room is a different Barbie movie. But after the huge Winx inspired build that we did recently, I just want to build something big again. So here we have a wheel with every Barbie movie on it to date. So let's spin first for the exterior we'll be doing today and we're going to be doing Barbie Mermaid Power. So in this movie, Barbie Brooklyn Roberts and Barbie Malibu Roberts and their sisters turn into mermaids to help save the underwater world of Pacifica. They also compete in challenges and learn what their inner powers are along the way, like if they're earth, air, water, or fire mermaids. So since we're going for a mermaid theme, I feel like we have to build here in Sulani. This is a 50 by 50 lot. It's actually the shipwrecked lot. So my plan here is we're going to have a massive waterfall with a sunken village down below and we'll have houses surrounding the top part as well. A little ambitious, but I think we can do it. And fair warning, this is probably gonna end up in two parts again today. We'll do the exterior. It'll be massive and beautiful. And then the next one we do later this week will be the interior. And I think today we're gonna start off with our basement tool. I want to build a big sunken kingdom here. So I'm just taking my basement tool right now and we're roughly building a shape. We'll take it all the way along the bottom here, kind of bringing it up like this. I'm probably gonna adjust this later on, honestly, but there we have our shape built. Next, we're going to go in and remove the ceiling and we're actually gonna take this, copy it, and we're gonna page down and put this directly underneath. And then I'm gonna page up and delete this in the middle. So my goal is to have water all the way down there. So now we've got a massive hole in the ground. We need to focus more on the water. So this part over here is where I want to make a massive waterfall. It's gonna be like the focal point of the whole build. It's gonna be cool. We gotta trust the process though. So we're gonna be using the custom pool tool a lot. And I think we're gonna start with it up top. So I'm just gonna trace around this part. I'm kind of just trying to make like rough shapes right now, just because I don't want it to look too perfect and we can always go back in and adjust it later. So this is going to be our first body of water or like the start of the waterfall. Then we're gonna build another pool on the second floor. So we've got one there coming down like that. And then I'm gonna do one more down at the bottom, but this one I'm gonna bring out all the way to the end. So we have all our pools in place. Next, we need to start adding the waterfall. So we're going to open up Island Living Debug. We're gonna search all the way down here for the debug waterfall that comes with it. And with my grid on, I'm gonna try and shape it into this part here. Even if it's sticking out the back a little bit, it's fine. And this is gonna look so pretty in live mode. So I'm trying to get a couple of these going around the edges. And then I've paged down again and we're gonna place it coming off of this level as well. So it'll be like a double waterfall moment. And now that we have our waterfalls going, I wanna go into debug and add rocks to clean it up. And for that, I'm gonna be using rocks from my wedding stories. So I'm basically just sizing them down, placing them behind the waterfalls. I wanna hide any of those sharp edges there. So I'm just gonna add some rocks in to cover it up. So I've added a ton of rocks going through the water. I also added some more pools and some flooring down below. And next I'm adding some glowing white wallpaper from Spa Day. This is basically just gonna brighten everything up a little bit. And this is how our waterfall is looking so far. Just to finish this off, I'm going in with a steamer. These are such cool items. They're so underrated. They come with get together and I'm just gonna hide them underneath all of the rocks. This really adds to the waterfall effect because it adds the steam coming up and the bubbles. I'm also going in and adding some fountains hiding behind just for extra effect. The next thing I wanna do is bring stairs down so Sims could actually get down here. So with my grid on, I'm taking a flat square piece and we're just going to add that right here as a balcony. We're gonna remove the flooring that it added and this is where we can add our first set of stairs. Then we can add two more on the second floor here so we can get all the way down to the bottom level. And then again with my grid on, I'm gonna take some diagonal flooring pieces and we're just gonna build balconies all the way around the edges. I'm just gonna be connecting it onto the walls so that we could get in there. But then once we've got these platforms made, I wanna add doors here and this can lead into actual rooms. It's gonna be giving like hotel. Maybe I can get a room over here on the diagonal. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet because I wanna build like entire buildings for the movies. So maybe these will be inspired by something else. I don't know, let me know what you guys want these rooms 
to be. And then on these walkways, I've added different doors with different colors. And I did that on purpose to throw it back to like the earth, fire, water, and air idea with mermaid power. I'm also adding some windows here from For Rent just because this is technically a basement level. It's gonna get a little dark in there. And I'm also gonna add some decor just along these walkways. Like maybe we can size up this item from Island Living. And I'm gonna add these shelves here. These are from Get Famous. This whole like elevated area actually reminds me of scenes in the movie where it looks like an arena with clams all above. That's kind of what we're going for here. And then just to make this entire thing look even more animated, I'm adding these waterfalls from Spa Day and I'm gonna add them around the entire barrier of this whole thing. So this is how the mermaid power exterior turned out. I added even more landscaping going along the top with an entry area over here. We have all of our fountains going down below. I also added curtains and even more things like this statue in the middle. Anywhere that I thought needed a little extra something, it either got a fountain or these curtains that I added in the background. This is crazy. This actually took me so long to figure out how to get it to work properly, but I am loving this so far, but I still need to figure out what to do with those rooms down below. So we'll figure that out later. So we're actually going to be adding five more buildings onto this. We're going to have one here one here, one on the diagonal, and two more at the bottom. Okay, let's spin to see what our first house will be inspired by, and we are going to be doing the Barbie movie. Like, the Barbie movie. I don't want to give too much of an explanation for these because, spoilers, but basically, Barbie and Ken are living their perfect lives in the Barbie world, but then they enter the real world and discover what real life is all about. So to start off with this one, we're just going to draw a room this this way and we're automatically gonna go in with the platform tool. So I'm just gonna draw one platform and raise it up and we'll add some platforms coming out here and we'll also add some over to the side. The Barbie house itself in the movie is wide open. It's dollhouse style so it's gonna be hard to only do the exterior of this one and leave the interior for later. I'm gonna wanna just fill it all in but basically I'm just carrying on with that platform idea floor by floor. We're gonna do another room right here and we're gonna finish it off with another platform on top. So it's four floors, but at the top floor, we're just gonna finish it off with a half wall. For the bottom floor, we're gonna find some pink columns. I think I'm gonna use these ones from Horse Ranch. And then I'm going to delete every wall that I made except for the front one right there. This is obviously not going to be to scale. We're going for a little bit of a smaller version than the actual movie one. So, so far we have that. I'm adding pink wallpaper around all of it as a base. This one's from my wedding stories, but then up top I want to use this pink brick from Bowling Night. Just at that top part there. I hate how the color filters do not work properly for platform paint. The only thing that ever shows up in this filter is the Oasis Courtyard Kit ones for some reason, but I know we have a pink one and we're going to use that to fill in the platforms. We're also going to add pink trim around the whole thing. We need a pink door and on the inside I think I'm just going to use some pink tile for now, basically just around like that. I might also add some glass windows on this middle floor here. We'll add a fancy chandelier from Spa Day. I'll also add some pink doors along the sides. And also just to make sure our sims can actually get around in here, we're also gonna need to add some stairs. This is definitely giving like plastic dollhouse so far. In the movie, there's a massive slide going along the side. I don't know how we would ever pull that off, but that would be really cool if we could add it. This is going to be the exterior of our Barbie movie inspired house so far. Let's go see what we're going to be doing next. Okay, let's spin for the next one and we are going to be doing Barbie and her sisters in a puppy chase. Okay, in this one, Barbie is off to an island with her sisters for a dance competition. But then the puppies are taken, turning their trip into an adventure to rescue their dogs. This one is totally going to be the worst one. I think I'm going to put it in this tiny little spot right here because I think for this one we can build a trailer. There's also a lot of horse related things going on in this movie so what if we made this like a tiny cute horse trailer <laughs> and this is where her puppies are. I have not seen this movie. I feel like this is potentially like the worst one ever but we're gonna make it cute. We're gonna do like a little trailer here. We'll do some like pink trim going around. We'll add pink wood from Horse Ranch and then I think I want to raise this up on a foundation. We'll use a base game foundation paint.
paint and I'm gonna use a cats and dogs fence to build out an entry. Then we can add another roof piece on top. I'm just adding a half gabled roof piece. We'll add some columns out front. Oh, a blue door at the front could be nice too. I think I'm gonna have to make this a little bit bigger. I, again, have not seen this one. I haven't seen every Barbie movie, by the way. If I did, I would definitely be making a video like this instead. But if someone took my puppies, it would not be a happy ending, let me tell you. I'm picturing them like getting the puppies and just being like, thanks, bye. But I'm pretty sure the puppies just end up like hanging out with these horses from a horse festival and like they're fine. So I'm just adding a pink horse trailer onto the back of this thing. I'm also adding these horse ranch shutters going along the back. All right, so we have our little Barbie horse trailer. Horse slash puppy trailer. It's funny because in the back, I added these tiny little dog beds with some bowls back here. So like, where's the puppies? I don't know. They're hiding with the horses. So now we have a random trailer here. Let's go see what we're adding next. Fitting for the next one and we're going to be doing Barbie the Island Princess. Wait, this is perfect. In this movie, Barbie gets shipwrecked on an island as a child and she gets taken in by cute animals. Later, she must go with Prince Antonia to a civilized kingdom where there are even more secrets to discover. Probably that she's a princess or something. Just a wild guess. I feel like this one is going to make the most sense in this location. And I also found a dollhouse which I think is inspired by this. So we're going to build it loosely inspired by that. I also wanted to build it closest to the water. So like the shipwreck, she can just come right here. So I built out this octagon shape and I'm going to page down and build another area. I keep forgetting that we're on a diagonal here. This is gonna be a room just kind of coming off of that. And then on top of this, instead of adding roofing, I wanted to use this item from the Romantic Garden stuff pack. We're gonna take that and size it up. So it's gonna be fitting right on top of the octagon and then I'm gonna rotate another one and size it up to meet that. Then I can add a thicker trim around here so it's going to be balancing right on top and then down here this is where I want to build a greenhouse. It could maybe be a greenhouse bedroom. I'm gonna carve out the roofing and we're gonna add some glass roof paint on top of there. So that's gonna be our shell. I feel like this movie is like Barbie meets Survivor. Like I want to use jungle adventure debug trees in the background. Like I feel like this one could work. I'll just kind of rotate it so it's not hitting my house and then that'll look really good behind. I do want to keep the colors and everything pretty consistent so I'm going to use the pink brick again from Bowling Night. Maybe we'll do a pink door from Get Famous here at the front but for my windows I want to use these ones here from Jungle Adventure. I remember I used to love these windows. In like my early channel days the only ones I would ever use were like these shutters and now I never use them and the final thing I want to do here is just add some completely glass windows from Eco Lifestyle and this is where our greenhouse is going to be. I'm going to be using the curtains from the Blooming Rooms kit. I want this to be a little overgrown looking so I'm also going to be using some trellises from High School Years. So this is how our Barbie Island Princess house turned out. I added some seating out here which I think looks so cute with these little debug trees. I also added more plants. We have a fountain here at the front. I really love the roofing that we decided to go with here and I added a bunch more landscaping as well. This is gonna look even more lush once we do that interior because you're gonna see it from outside. So that is Barbie the Island Princess. Let's go see what we're gonna do next. Okay, spinning again for the second last house we'll be doing and it's going to be Barbie Big City Big Dreams. In this one, Barbie Malibu and Barbie Brooklyn head to New York City where they become friends at an exclusive performing arts program. Program. There they must compete against each other for a solo spotlight in Times Square. So for this one I want to build something showy like theater inspired maybe. So right now I'm building a symmetrical shell like this and then we're just gonna copy and paste each floor on top of each other and then on the top floor for the roofing I'm gonna use half walls but we're gonna change up the levels of them. I'm also gonna build out one more front bump out here and this way we can do a half wall detail at the front here as well. So right now our shell is looking like this. It's giving retro theater a little. Maybe this time we'll make this one blue. And I was actually picturing these lights here from City Living. I'm gonna size them up and make them really big. We're gonna do a couple on each side. And then also from City Living, we have these pink vertical lines, which I'm gonna add on the side. And I'm gonna raise them on top of each other so it's going all the way up to the roof over here. I already 
know I'm gonna be obsessed with this. If you ever watched my Twitch streams back in the day, we built an entire like retro Miami inspired village that looked similar to this aesthetic. RIP to those days. In between some of these lights, I'm adding some light strips from Spa Day. And for my door, maybe we'll just keep it simple with this one from my wedding stories. I'm also adding city living fences along my balconies, maybe some eco lifestyle windows going along the front. And then down below, I'm also adding these huge spotlights from Get Famous. These are the ones that are gonna have a huge beam leading up into the sky. Like there they are in live mode going into my house. We'll just move those forward a little. There we go, that is everything. But then up top here, I left this spot blank so I could make like a practice area for them or a performance area. We'll add some guitars up here, a couple of microphones and also some other instruments. We could also add the city living keyboard up here. I'm gonna add a rug up here from the pastel pop kit, some pink amps from Moschino. So this is how our Barbie big city, big dreams house turned out. I love the area up top where they could perform. They can practice their music together. I also made some cute separate matching balconies. Both of them have different guitars and different chairs on there. So we have one more house to do over on the other side. All right, spinning for the final time today. The last house we're going to be doing is Barbie Rapunzel, a classic. This one's obvious, a witch keeps Rapunzel Barbie locked away in a tower, but then she discovers a secret way to escape that leads her to a new kingdom where she must save her prince. Okay, I don't know how tower-like this is gonna end up looking because we have some pretty big builds here as it is, but our tower is gonna have to be over here. So for this one, I've built an octagon room shape. We're gonna add another smaller octagon on top. I'm gonna take that smaller one again and put one directly on top. And then for the top floor, we're gonna take another one of these and we're gonna put that all the way up on the top floor. So right now it kind of looks like a barbell, but then using a Discovery University fence, I'm just gonna trace around each of those second and third floors. So now this is what we've got. And then we're gonna go in and add some columns. I'm using these ones here from Get Famous and I'm just adding them to hold up that top floor there. I'm also adding them along the third floor. We'll clean it up with some trim. And then for our roofing, we're just gonna do one octagonal roof piece. I'm gonna use Shift C on my keyboard and we're gonna curve that a little bit. We'll bring out the adjusters and I think I'll use a Jungle Adventure purple roof paint. I wanna add a pretty open window up top where she can look out and and potentially escape. So I'm gonna be using these ones from Cats and Dogs. And there are also smaller ones that we could use going along the bottom. We'll use a cottage living door at the front. We'll add that pink My Wedding Stories wallpaper. And I also want this one to be a little bit overgrown. So I'm again gonna add the Blooming Rooms curtains and we'll get some growing together plants going up the side as well. This one was actually one of my favorite Barbie movies as a kid. It revolves a lot around her being an artist and painting. So I'm adding some easels in here. The doors on the balconies will also be from Cottage Living. And I remember thinking her dress from this movie was like the most beautiful thing ever. So here is our Barbie Rapunzel tower. I filled in the landscaping. I also added a lot more greenery going up and down the tower. On some of our main floors, I added a couple easels there. And I also added some paintings leaning against the wall of different landscapes. There's also some painting clutter going along the back. So this is how our Barbie village world turned out. All of these inspired by different Barbie movies. This is a massive build. We're still gonna be doing the interior. Of course, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. I'll be happy to add them in. And also if you have any ideas for what to do for the rooms down below, like we still have these. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you liked the video, this took so long. So make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. The next part of this will be up probably later this week. And as always, Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.